CUDA might be something that you've heard of before. CUDA is the acceleration that we get with NVIDIA cards. NVIDIA makes a whole whack of great cards from uh, Quadro cards for desktop solutions like I'm using here and also for mobile workstations because we know that a lot of editors are out there in the field. We know that you've heard the term, but I want to show you how deep we can go. How many things can really truly be accelerated in real time? Let's go have a look. I purposely made a timeline that is absolutely jammed with a bunch of goodies. I have an adjustment layer on the top, and this adjustment layer is covering every single one of the clips below it. If we go and look in my effects controls, I purposely made a whole whack of things in here. I've got the Lumetri plugin, which is a film stock look on the top layer, along with a three-way color corrector. And then underneath that, just to make this even harder to work, I threw a video limiter to make sure we're within broadcast limits. I stuck sharpen on here and noise. And if you look at my timeline, it's red. Well, what does that mean? Well, if I hit my space bar and play, some of it's kind of jittery a little bit. And you'll notice over here on my little indicator, I'm dropping frames like a son of a gun. Why is that? Well, that's because the CPU is trying to do everything. We need to be able to offload all of that. Oh yeah, by the way, each one of the clips on the timeline, I went and tweaked those too. Each one of those has a separate uh, color correction on them. So I literally have dozens of things going on right now. So let's turn on the GPU and see what that gives us. In the file menu, project settings, general. Right now we're running the Mercury playback engine in software only, but to take advantage of all the accelerated effects, let's turn on the GPU acceleration, click OK. I'll delete my previews. The line goes yellow. I hit my space bar and everything is playing back. That giant stack is all in real time. And notice my little green indicator there, zero frames during playback, all in real time. I love that because whatever comes in my head, I can do as long as it's an accelerated effect. And we also accelerate things like scale and rotation. All of this acceleration that happens in Premiere Pro is now in Adobe Media Encoder. So when you're thinking about adding an effect, which ones are accelerated, which ones aren't. We make it really easy over here in the effects panel. I'm gonna make the effects panel large. I'm gonna maximize that. And then this first button here, accelerated effects, I'll click on that. And in here, you'll see all the accelerated effects. That's the ones that show up in this line. Things like levels, proc amp, blurs, Gaussian blur is accelerated, color correction, including the Lumetri Deep Color Engine, RGB curves, very useful, uh, our three-way color corrector, and the fast color corrector, warp stabilizer, all of our different image controls, color replace, where you can replace one color, bunch of garbage mats, our ultra keyer, which is a real-time keyer, the noise that I'm adding, basic 3D, drop shadow, crop, feather, um, time code and clip name, and then of course a whole bunch of transitions and the Lumetri effects down inside here. Any one of these Lumetri effects and anything else I add from speed grade is going to work for me. In addition, high-end 4K Cinema DNG bearing is GPU accelerated in preview mode. Oh yeah, and there's one more thing. How many GPUs? Premiere Pro now supports multiple GPUs and not just a Maxima solution. It used to be that you needed one of these and one of these, a Tesla and a Quadro. You can still do that, but now if you've got multiple Quadros, you can have those installed too. Just make sure you got enough power in your system, stick in multiple GPUs. If time is money, you need to be GPU accelerated.